so welcome back to bitfumes and in this episode we are going to save this file from our view avatar editor we have done a nice part that means we have configured the view avatar editor although it has some bug and we have fixed that also and now we are ready to save this so you can see we can scale it we can move it we can do anything <laughs> okay so let's go to php storm and here uh, on this view avatar where we have used view avatar editor things we have this on change scale function this means whenever we change the scale this function going to execute and if you're not convinced let's console.log hello okay and now go here open dev tool refresh this page and now if i try to make changes here notice this console and you can see every time it changes there is hello printed that means this is working absolutely nice save clicked this means whenever we click on this click button then this function going to execute and on image ready that means whenever we select new image from our computer so let's select and you can see scaled also that's why hello is here and we can console log here so console log new file okay so let's save it refresh select a new file and you can see it's two and the first one for the first time it's select and the second one for uh, i have chosen another file so this is good but uh, how we will save these things so to save we have to use this so why not do one thing so let's go to top and here i will create an img tag where i'm going to uh, show the picture i have so i'm going to say source will be cropped image i'm going to create this uh, data so let's go here and i will say data is we have to return it return and cropped image which is initially null okay but when we click on save image then i'm going to say this dot oops this dot cropped image is equal to img and where this img came from this img came from the scaled image from view avatar and we also want to get the data that means the base 64 version of this because this is actually a canvas so if i try to console log so console dot log uh, img okay and let's comment this one and go to chrome refresh this page open console and let's click here you can see it's now having the canvas here instead i want the data so uh, after this image dot to data url to data url yeah uh, yeah okay so this is good and now let's go here refresh this page and click and nothing happened but at the top you can see we have the image and notice one thing we have not given any width so it's default width and the result has to be the same okay so this means if i go here and make this height as 200 cross 200 and let's go to chrome once more refresh this means if i now click the result will also be 200 cross 200 so you can see this is good and if i scale it click yeah same thing so this is the way we can crop the image and if you don't want these bold borders why not give border border is equal to let's say one only so refresh this once more yeah border is one and that's great if you want just give zero that will also work and this is cool so click yeah very nice so if i try to do this one 
and scale it click yeah it's absolutely nice working absolutely perfect this means if i now try to open this in a new tab we should see it's a base 64 version of this image and we have seen that how we can configure this how we can save this inside our database so i think you don't need my help for that because i already help you and this is the same thing in just save click instead of showing if you want to show that's okay but if you don't want to show this then you directly save these to your database one thing more obviously if we have clicked here that means we have selected this then we don't want this selected part that means uh, we have already cropped that i don't want to crop again so why i am seeing this part so why not do one thing uh, let's create a new data and that data it will be uh, cropped okay so simple part is cropped initially is false because initially we have not cropped okay so this means this view avatar this view scale part all these things only comes when cropped is false so why not do one thing give a div and move all these things inside here okay so cut it from there and paste it and now i will say v if cropped okay so if cropped is true then it's going to execute this part but we want the opposite one so why not do the inverse of crop this means if cropped is false then going to show this if cropped is true then not going to show this and we don't want this img tag and obviously we want click also but click also has to be inside this so what functionality we want we want whenever we click on this button click then obviously we want the image in this mg tag but at the same time we don't want to show that this means we have to make cropped as true so let's go to save clicked okay then i will say here this dot cropped is equal to true that means yes we have cropped the image go refresh and click and yes you can see it's gone and we have the cropped one but again the problem is if i am not satisfied with this image i want to go back there should be a button to go back so why not create that button also and that button will have to be outside here so button and button and we will say back will be good so back but this will going to show else part so else we else we are going to use this means if this is this part is there this back button will not there but if this part is not there back button will come so whenever we click on back button what we want we want to uh, start cropping okay so uh, this will be the function name so let's create that function start cropping and here i will say this dot cropped is equal to false and now it will going to work surely refresh and now click yes this is here but i'm not satisfied with it i want to crop it again back oh you can see the image is already here this means we have to make sure image also come only when this part is that means crop is true so again image has to be on vls part so let's give a div inside this div i want to move all these two now vls will come to div that's nice refresh crop back crop back crop back crop back so this is the way we can handle these things so in the next episode we are going to see the cropper view cropper package for our 
cropping part and if you are not satisfied with view avatar editor um, i think this is awesome okay so we will meet in the next episode if you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to share this video with your developer friend so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing you know the best thing called yeah you know laravel okay so till then goodbye